Hello, and welcome again to Theme and Code. In this video, I will guide you about creating pop-up in WordPress. We will be following a three-step process. Install the plugin, configure it, and then display it on WordPress. We will begin with installing the TNC Bookshelf pop-up plugin, a versatile plugin that can show WordPress items in four different types. You can get this plugin from Theme and Code Marketplace. I will attach the link in the description. Now when you have the plugin, log in to your dashboard. Go to Plugins and then add New. After that, upload the plugin and install it on your WordPress. When the installation is done, activate the plugin and you're good to go. The second step is configuring the plugin and creating your pop-up item. After installing, go to TNC Bookshelf Pop-up Pro and then create a new shelf item. This is the item that we want to open as a pop-up. Now let's give it a title. You can put anything here. With TNC Bookshelf Pop-Up, you can show any WordPress item as a pop-up. Single image, gallery, YouTube video, Vimeo video, map or any embedded items, shortcodes, custom title and text, any page or post, WooCommerce product, TNC flipbook, etc. I am taking the YouTube video as an example. I will show this video as a pop-up. Don't use the full YouTube video link here. Only put the ID of the video. Copy that part of the video link and paste it into the YouTube video ID field. You can add this item to a bookshelf or a category if you want. Also, if you want to show it with the bookshelf, list or grid view, then you need to upload a feature image too. But as we are just creating a pop-up for now, we don't require any of those now. After creating the shelf item, the third step is to display it as a pop-up on WordPress. Go to that page or post where you want to use this pop-up. I am creating a new page here. You can use an existing page too. Let's name the page test page pop-up. After that, take the TNC Bookshelf Pop-Up Pro block. Here you will find four different display options. We are creating a pop-up. That is why I am taking the pop-up option. To learn about other modes, watch out for other videos. The link is in the description. First, select the shelf item that you previously created. As I have named shelf item 1, I have selected that. Then there are two trigger options. You can open the pop-up by clicking a text or an image. First, let's check out the text one. You can use this as a button text too. When you're done, just click the TNC Bookshelf Pop-Up Pro button and then publish or update the page. Now let's see the results. You can see the text that I have just created has come up. Now when I click on the test, you can see that the video has a pop-up. Creating a pop-up with any WordPress item is that simple with TNC Bookshelf Pop-Up. Isn't that amazing? Now it's time to check the image trigger option. Let's delete the previous block and take a new TNC Bookshelf Pop-Up Pro block. Now in the trigger field, we will take the image option in the place of text. Upload the image, which you want to use as a trigger for the pop-up. After that, just click the TNC Bookshelf Pop-Up Pro button and then update the page. You can use any image here. Now you can see when the image is clicked, it opens that YouTube video as a pop-up. Isn't that amazing? As I have told you earlier, this is not limited to video only. You can show literally any WordPress item as a pop-up. Possibilities are just endless with TNC Bookshelf pop-up. You can check out everything about this plugin on the live preview page. There are various examples that are prepared just for you to give a clear idea about the plugin. Click on the images or the links to see how the pop-up works for different WordPress items. Here you can see that even the map can be shown as a pop-up using this plugin. It was triggered using an image. Every pop-up can be triggered with links or buttons. Here is an example of a button, and by clicking the button a whole page is opening as a pop-up. This makes the user experience really amazing as they don't need to leave the current page. Get this plugin now. The link is in the description. And for more information visit www.themencode.com.